I, Samantha, vow to always try to help you grow as a man of God. I, Cameron, promise to guide and protect, uplift and support, and continually show Christ's love throughout our marriage. I vow to still act out of endless love, even when my heart is broken and we feel lost. I assure you that God will be present no matter what obstacles we may face, and that I will be there to portray His light through this promised journey. To push you and to be there for you when you need help. I will always try to show you this same kind of love that our Father shows us. With this ring, I signify my promise to love you everlastingly and pray I may fulfill His command to be the leader and husband figure in our home. I vow to have a loving ear and listen when you need to vent and to be a safe place for you. And like always, I vow to love you and give you gum. I look forward to raising our family and building our relationship under the care and guidance of God. And perhaps if the stars align, I will let you win an argument to keep things fair. Cameron, I take you to be my husband, to have and to hold from this day forward, for better or worse, for richer, for poorer, in sickness and in health, to love and to cherish, till death do us part according to God's holy ordinance. And there too, I give my promise. Samantha, I take you to be my wife, to have and to hold from this day forward, for better or for worse, for richer, for poorer, in sickness and in health, to love and to cherish till death do us part, according to God's holy ordinance. And there too, I give my promise. I therefore pronounce you to be husband and wife. What God today has joined together, let no man put asunder Cameron to make Greek the bride. Please join me in welcoming Mr. and Mrs. Cameron and Samantha Skinner.
have been best friends for about 12 years now, so almost every stupid thing we have done in life, we've done together. Except a few, which Cam can take full credit for. Like that time in high school when we were doing donuts in a pickup truck, and Cam decided, in classic Cam fashion, this would be so much more fun if I was clinging for my life in the back of the pickup truck. I could go on for a while about everything that we've done and what you mean to me, but really you have been a sister more than anything throughout, throughout life, and I'm so grateful I could be here to celebrate with you today. One person that we, we, we admire, and we wish very much deeply, is his grandma Severson. Who, is, who passed away, but she would be the greatest day for her if she could be here. And I feel so good that I could be here. I will always look fondly on the times that both Eric and I got to spend with Cam on vacation, whether it be on the beach in Maui, boating in Kelowna, or traveling to Norway. These are some of the times that I've really enjoyed. I want to wish you the very, the very best in your new life together. We will be praying that God looks after you as you grow your family. Cam, we have shared many special memories, such as the time where you got us stuck in the middle of the lake and we were stranded for a couple of hours until we fixed the problem. But all joking aside, I miss, I will miss your support in my everyday life. Thanks for being a great brother. When you first came over, Sam cleaned the entire house for him. So it was pretty clear he was a keeper. She's always been a great big sister, and I'm sure she will make a great wife for Cam. I love you. Gary and I still remember the first time that Samantha came to our house for a supper with our family. We sat outside on the deck for supper and the conversation that ensued with our three sons and this young lady was, let's just say, awkward. <laughs> Samantha, you endured and we saw the attributes that endeared us to you. While God did not give us any daughters, we are blessed to have you, Samantha, in our family and finally I have some girl power in my corner. My boy is now a man, ready to leave the nest to start his own family and finally give us some rest. <laughs> We're so proud of you both. This wedding venue so neat. COVID tried to hamper your plans, but you wouldn't be beat. I wish you both a blessed life. Cameron, you are a husband. Samantha, you are a wife. Oh, <laughs> I almost made it. May God bless your marriage in health and prosperity. We love you very much and we pray this with regularity. Much love, Mom and Dad. We first met Cam two and a half years ago when he came to Victoria for just a day trip with Sam. According to her, he was just a friend, but he made a good first impression when they arrived at the house and Sam mentioned that she had missed a call and it was probably about a job that she would, and she would call them back later. But Cam was like, no, call them now, otherwise you probably won't. I was thinking, wow, I like this guy. And he seems to know Sam pretty well. He's suffered through many, uh, many boring old person TV shows with me on described video and, and other things, playing all kinds of board games and uh, um, having Alexandra yell at him um, from time to time. Camping in the smallest tent I could find for him because that's just what I find funny. Um, the smallest sleeping bag. And, and, the, and he brought the smallest sleeping bag he could find, so it kind of went well together. But there was also the chatting in the kitchen and just the walks and things like that as well. We're, we are so excited for, for both of you.
And obviously a big thank you to all of our guests. We appreciate you coming out and celebrating our love. They take, say it takes a village to raise a child, but really I think it takes a village to make a good marriage and be a good support to our marriage. And I definitely see that in you guys. So I just want to say thank you so much for coming out tonight.